Well, hello, my lovelies. Let me just get back to the one. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, ignore my dirty fridge. I still need to clean it. Um, We're back for another grocery haul. I went grocery shopping last night. This is a $250 grocery haul split between two different stores. I only got a couple of things at one of the stores. So we're going to start with that one first. There are a couple things you're not going to see here. A bag of frozen popcorn chicken from Walmart because we had that for dinner last night and I'm not getting the open thing out of the freezer. A thing of thick bologna that is in a Zippo bag in my refrigerator because I used it this morning for my daughter's lunch for school. And then some potato wedges that we got at the first store I'm going to show you to go with the popcorn chicken last night. Okay. Anyways, let's jump into it. Let's start at the store I only got a few things from. It's called Harps. It's a relatively local grocery store. I think they're only in Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri. Maybe Kansas. Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways. I got two of these Health Choice Power Bowls for my husband. This one's Adobe Chicken, and this one is Korean Beef Inspired. Korean inspired beef. I just got him these to change him up. He doesn't even know I bought these yet, so. But also, he likes those Devour frozen meals. He usually likes the buffalo chicken mac and cheese and the Cajun style Alfredo, but he's kind of over the pasta, and Walmart doesn't carry this flavor, but the Harps does. This is the whole reason I'm in there. It's the smokehouse meat and potatoes with chicken, sausage, and bacon. So it's got like smoked sausage, chicken, bacon, potatoes, peppers, corn, Memphis style barbecue sauce. Um, I got four of these. And then like I said, I also got the, um, the popcorn chicken. Or not the popcorn chicken, the uh, potato wedges. Ooh, made it. Made that one too. Dang, I'm on a roll, guys. Oh, finally missed one. That was what? Four in a row? Five out of six. Not that bad. That is everything I bought at that store. So now we're going to jump into Walmart. Couldn't get a case of water. That, well, I couldn't get a case of water because Walmart was out of our water. And then when I was at that Harps store, this is why I don't grocery shop there, even though it is in the town that I live in. And the Walmarts that I go to are in different towns. One's 10 minutes away in a town 10 minutes away, and one's in a town like 20 minutes away. Um, you, you're going to understand why. So we usually get, I think it's like 36 or 34 bottles of water at Walmart for like four or five dollars. So when I stopped into Harps because Walmart was out of the Ozarka water that we get, I looked to see their water and they had a, what was it, a 12 pack for seven bucks. No, no. Luckily we still have almost a full case. So we'll be fine until next week, but I am not spending that much more for that much less water. Like if it was $7 for the same size we normally get at Walmart, I probably would have spent the extra $2, but it wasn't. So no, no. Anyways, I got Dr. Pepper. Walmart was the cheapest place to get it this week. The reason y'all haven't been seeing soda in my grocery hauls, like I've been filming them, but last week you didn't, I don't think I put any in there is because at my job, they have been on sale three for 11. The 12 packs have been, but the only sales around here this week were two for 11 and this is 10.98. So I might as well just get this at Walmart. And then usually I buy the Capri Sun brand, but this week I bought this time I bought the Kool-Aid jammers um, in the tropical punch grape and cherry flavor, just a variety pack for my kids school lunches. That is also why these, this haul was like so expensive is I had to get stuff for school lunches and I had to restock up on our freezer like lunch things for the kids. And also my husband picked out a few things that are kind of a little pricey, but that's okay. 
we deserve to splurge every once in a while. Got some orange juice. My husband likes to eat it instead of drink it, so he got the high pulp. I don't really drink orange juice. So there's that. He has been really into mango flavored things. And so we got this mango, Mighty Mango Naked Juice. This stuff is expensive. It was $9 for the 64 ounce bottle, but he doesn't splurge on stuff like this very often. So I went ahead and told him to just get it. Um, if you know what we've kind of been going through the last couple of years, he deserves to have something, even if it is just a $9 bottle of juice. I know that's ridiculous and a lot of people do pay that price and a lot of people refuse to pay that price but it is what it is oh also you're not going to see some candy bars i bought because i ate them already um a dove a big dove caramel one which was disappointing because i thought it was going to be more they're like big pieces like this size of dove caramels and i thought it was going to be more like the little ones but the caramel was harder the chocolate was not as good and then i got some more for uh, another ferrero rocher candy bar and I accidentally got the hazelnut and almond one instead of just the regular milk chocolate hazelnut one. And it's not my favorite. But they're back in my room and I'm not going back there to get them. Um, oh, one more thing you're not going to see is my husband got these to try because he's trying to eat better. And in the mornings he usually doesn't eat breakfast because it's you know difficult because he gets up at 4.30 in the morning and has to be to work at 5. But we got this, the ham and cheese egg potatoes ham and cheddar cheese ball we also got the sausage one for him to try he ate that one this morning missed again we got a bag of pizza rolls um it's open i did that it was not open yesterday when i put it in my freezer i accidentally ripped it open so i'll have to put it in a ziploc bag Dawson saw this and wanted his dad to get it, so we got it. Um, I did get three of these. Zach, this is the new Red Bull flavor for this summer, Juneberry. He really likes these, and we've been having a hard time finding them. We did get three. I only have two here to show you because he has one with him at work today. And then I got some butter because we always need butter. We use a lot of butter in this house. Meh. My husband's not here to bitch about, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, to complain about the loud noise. I am home for the first time in a long time, completely by myself. All my kids are at school, my husband's at work, and this will probably be the last time that this happens for a long time because my kids are fixing to be on summer break. So I'm enjoying it. I'm filming this, and then I should be cleaning my very messy kitchen but instead i'm gonna relax anyways back to the grocery haul let me pull these bags a little closer so i can actually reach them and i just messed up the angle that i had okay i got myself some fries my kids don't really care they still have fries in there the great value seasoned fries but these are so good and i like to dip them in nacho cheese liquid nacho cheese so i got myself some and that's probably what i'm gonna have for lunch before i go to work missed again what's in here oh we got some bacon because we go through at least one of these a week got some string cheese which i was supposed to put my husband's lunch this morning and i forgot my kids don't like these but my husband likes to take them in his missed again. We got a gallon of milk. I believe that's all the cold stuff. Needed some cat food. Oh, if y'all watched last week's grocery haul and saw my cat almost get killed in that basket while I was throwing stuff, I locked it in the bathroom while I was doing this because I didn't want to hurt it because we already had to take a dog to the vet this week and that was already expensive enough so I don't want to hurt the cat so it's locked in the bathroom while I film this. Zach's, he takes a lot of granola bars in his lunch for snacks and stuff throughout the day because he works a 12-hour shift. So he decided he was going to try these Nature Valley Protein Coconut Almond Granola Bars. 
Oh, you're also not gonna see, uh, he got some freeze dried mango that is in his lunchbox. I forgot about that. You're also not gonna see that. I also picked out some freeze dried peaches. He loves peaches. So he some of those. I do buy little bags of chips for my kids' school lunches, but those are expensive, and I've been letting them eat them, like, throughout the weekend as snacks and stuff, but I realized we go through, through them fairly quickly, and Delson already has hot Cheetos, which is his favorite, and we already have regular Cheetos also, which is Luca's favorite, so Katie picked out these for her snack this weekend, so we'll see. I shouldn't have thrown that in there, because that bag's gonna pop. Hold on, but I did make it. Okay, the kids needed some Pop-Tarts. I'm going back to the brown sugar cinnamon. They've been eating like the s'mores and the fudge and the cookies and cream ones lately. And I just decided to go back to these for now. I'm not going to throw these because every time I throw them, they get all smashed up and my kids throw fit that they're broken. So I'm not going to throw those. Got myself some more Megabytes Goldfish. These are my favorite. We need some more wipies. There was three. I had to open one this morning. So now there's only two. Got some Tic Tacs, because I like to have Tic Tacs in my purse. We needed some paper plates. We get the Great Value Ultra Plates, because they're thicker, and if you get the regular Great Value ones, they're, like, bendable and stuff, and you have to use two, so I get the Ultra. It's a little bit more expensive, but then you only have to use one. I wish they came in a bigger pack, because at my Walmart, you can only get these in the 50 pack, but maybe I'll see if I can order them online. Okay. Miss. I got some uh, Ziploc bags. I got them on sale for three dollars and thirty six cents. I saved a dollar twelve um, because the packaging is a little damaged and was open, so there might be a couple missing. But whatever. Um. I let my daughter pick their lunch treat for next week. She picked me Oreos. Go figure. She is my child. I completely forgot I bought these, and now I'm sad because they weren't in the refrigerator, and I only like them cold, so I can't eat them yet. I got me some little tiny snacking pickles. If you watched last week, you know I got some ranch powder on clearance for $3.50, normally $5.38. I went ahead and picked up two more because they still had some, and, uh, yeah, we use this a lot, so I picked up some more. I need to catch up because my kid... One of my kids. I only have one kid that likes ketchup, and she goes through ketchup like nobody's business. Let's see, what do we got in here? Oh. Got some cough drops because we've got some coughs in our house, and we were out. I'm not gonna throw these. Got some allergy medicine. Um, this is just like the off brand Zyrtec. Uh, they sell the big giant ones in the grape flavor, but not in the bubblegum flavor. And because I have three kids that have to take it, I have to get two of the smaller bottles, or I'll be buying it like every four days. So, I got that. Let's see what else. Oh, you guys have seen these in my grocery hauls before. My husband likes these in his lunches for like a late breakfast, early lunch snack type thing. So, I got some of those. My, uh, my youngest, Luca, he also likes those. I got these for um, nights when I'm at work and my husband just wants to do something like pizza rolls and burritos for the older two. Luca doesn't really like those things, but he does like these, so I got these, so he would have those to get him for uh, dinners. And then, and then I got some bread because I make sandwiches for my kids every day of my older two every day to take for lunch. What else was in there? Oh. The lady at Walmart that we checked out with, you know, sometimes these little bags get pulled off there with other bags and they shove them under their register and stuff. Um, she gave those to us because we have a cat to scoop the litter box and stuff into. So that was nice. And then I just got two bushels of bananas. My husband said that he wanted bananas, my kids like bananas, and I bought, when Delson had his surgery two weeks ago, I bought a bushel, and everybody ate them, and it was gone in like two days, so I bought another bushel, and that one got eight. So I bought two bushels this week, and my luck, nobody will eat them, and I'll be making like 12 loaves of banana bread, but it is what it is. 
And certainly last, but not least, is we got some kitty litter. I need to look online because my Walmart only sells this size and it's 14 pounds and I have to buy it every week because we have two litter boxes because we have two cats. And so I'm going to look, my Walmart only sells this size and the fragrance free one, which I've learned that my cats like. So I need to look online and see if they have a bigger one online that I can order because I'm sick of buying it every week. Mm. Anyways, I believe that is all. I'm trying to think if there's anything else y'all aren't going to see in here because it's already been used, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyways, that is it. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys and I will see you guys in my next video, which is hopefully going to be me scrubbing my kitchen cabinets. Uh, but I'm going to be working a lot more for the next few weeks because uh, we had to let somebody go at work. So I'm going to kind of cover some of those hours. Um, but I am going to try and get that filmed sometime this weekend. Maybe I'll do that now while I'm home by myself because it'll be easier to film while I'm home by myself. All right. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.